week, and we are ready to dive in to the AFC East, and we are going to kick this thing off with the Buffalo Bills. That sound right to you, Chris? Come on. All right, 10 and 6 last year. Their win total for this season is set at 9. Now, this we're going to use Heritage today. Uh, win total is 9. To go over is minus 120. To go under is plus 100, so even odds. At, so they expect a winning season. They, they expect to go over the 9 as opposed to under. To win the division, plus 110. They are the favorites this year, and it has been a long, long time since we have had somebody other than the New England Patriots as a, a favorite in this division. Uh, now, that doesn't mean anything right now. Obviously, this is just preseason. But Sean McDermott, entering his fourth season, has completely turned this franchise around, and it is impressive what he has done. Now, what he hasn't done is really, really improve that offense just yet. Uh, let's go through some of the numbers right quick. Offensive yards per play, 5.2 last year. That was good for number 22 in the league. Defensive yards per play, however, and that's what they have built their entire foundation on, 4.9 is what they gave up last year. That's number four in the NFL. Turnover margin, not too shabby. Not too shabby. They gained .2 turnovers per game. That was number 11 in the conference. Um, the questions that I have really are, do we trust Josh Allen? And and that's, I think, the biggest question of all. That is the one thing that can turn them from, you know, uh, they might make the playoffs into, oh, they might be able to make the Super Bowl. Because we know that that defense is good enough. They have finally... Got a big play threat. They bring in Diggs from Minnesota, and he, from all accounts, everything I've read uh, read out of training camp, he looks to be unbelievable. Um, Josh Norman signed a one-year deal to uh, to kind of help shore up that secondary. That was really the only weak link that they had last year, and it really wasn't even a weak link. You know, and Josh Norman, it, more so he's just adding like a veteran leadership, right? Because he yeah, he's, not, he's not cover cornering anymore. Yeah, he, he's not the same Josh Norman that we knew just a few years ago. That's right. But, uh, but he is a veteran, and he is a leader, and I think he will be good for what they're doing. Um, I mean, bottom line, the defense is where it's at. I'm going to tell you, my prediction is 10-6, and six, and that's only because I just don't know about Josh Allen, but I know that they are good enough to to at least get to 10-6 and six again. Um, you know, not a, not a ridiculous schedule, but I think it's still a fairly difficult schedule. Uh, I think ten and six is is good, and I think it's I think it's good enough to win the division. Uh, but I'm not going to make that call just yet. So yeah, I got them ten and six as well. Listen, that offense added Zach Moss, Zach Moss, Devin Singletary, good running game, good strong running game. I trust them. Yes. Good offensive line. Uh, I think Josh Allen will be much improved this year because of Stephon Diggs, but. I think they're going to be a better football team this year than they were last year. But that doesn't equate to wins all the time because the teams they beat, I think they would still beat. The team they would lose to, I think they would still lose to. Yes. Um, it, it, it's going to come down to can they play big in the playoffs because I absolutely have this team making the playoffs once again. So, um, yeah, I got them 10-6 and six as well. I think Josh Allen's going to be better. I think Stefan Diggs is going to help that. Stefan Diggs' catch radius on the deep ball is massive. You yes. don't have to be gigantic person to have a good catch radius, all right? He tracks the ball in the air better than any receiver in the league right now. Oh, and, and his adjustments to that's, the ball well, that's, are That's what I'm saying. Tracking, yeah. tracking the football is important when you have a quarterback that can sling it but is not accurate because he's not overthrowing you or underthrowing you. He's just off on the throw, and therefore you have to find the ball and go to it. And Stefan Diggs, it, the reason they paid a first round pick for him and then are going to have to pay him financially again is because he is the best player in the NFL right now that does that. Yeah, I think you're, they, I think you're and right. They know they need that. They got to play to the strengths and the weaknesses of the team that they've got. Yes, I agree. 